So some of you may need, let's go up to reading. Here we are. More practice than others in reading. Some of you have been struggling with reading your whole life. Um, totally understandable. It's hard. Reading comprehension exams are hard and especially if, if English is not your first language. So if it's not, try to get that extra time. Um, because again, if you plopped me into another country and I had to take a reading test in another language, I would not be able to do it. Okay. So, um, you guys are already awesome just for even being able to get any score on a reading test where English is not your first language. So we're going to take the first practice test on reading. Okay. So let's go to the reading. So we're going to do practice test one cold. We're going to see where we are. Maybe you're one of those who's just really good at reading practice tests. Fine. Great. You got a good score. You got like an 80%. You're doing good. You may just want to review these, these parts of the book, take practice test two and move on with your life. Go take it. But if you're someone who struggles, this is where you can do some intensive practice. So, um, practice test one, notice that we have short passages. We have longer passages. We have graphs. We have, let me just scroll down here. We have even longer passages. We also have very, very long passages like this one here on the praxis core. You're going to have short, mid-length, long, double passages, and graphs and charts. We have them all here. We cover them all here. So we took this practice test and you know what? Maybe I don't look at the answer choices yet. Um, the answer explanations yet. There's 60 or 56 questions here. Maybe I just grade it because I want to save it for a post test. Fine. Grade it. Don't look at your, um, don't look at the answers. Don't circle the correct answers. Grade it, put it to the side, measure your skills, and then figure out, okay, where am I here? What's my score? Give yourself a percentage. How long did it take? Time yourself. How long did it take? And, uh, what questions stumped you the most? All right. Or maybe which, which passages stumped you the most? All right. Then, then ask yourself a couple questions based on my score. I feel that I need intensive practice because I am not comfortable with this test or just some regular prep and a little practice. There's pretty much two people in this world when it comes to the reading people who need intensive help with reading and people who just need to brush up because they're already readers and they don't get test anxiety about reading. Okay. Now let's go to step three. Here we go to prepare. I've already taken my, uh, Practice test one, I've gotten my score. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start looking over my book now. In the very, very beginning, I talk about the types of reading passages and I show you a strategy for reading. We're always reading the questions first, always reading the questions first. You are doing yourself a disservice if you start from the top and work all your way down to the bottom. It is the wrong way to do a reading test. And I have so many videos on that. Okay. So definitely check those out. And it's in the book, how to do it. I go through the double passages. I do everything here and I look that over. Now, let me see on the study plan. Where are we? So we're doing the first and se first and second section of the book. So this first section is just the types of passages you're going to get. And you take a look at some questions there. And then we move to content category one, key idea and details. Again, this is all from the test specifications and we cover everything. Now here's the thing, ACT and SAT cover the exact same skills here. Every reading test covers key idea and details. So that's main idea, that's supporting details, that's inference. All of that is key idea and details. Then I have some sample questions, just like, um, we did in the, the writing, the grammar and the math. There are some sample questions here that go with just key idea and details. So make sure you take a look at those and evaluate that. I have so many cautions here on the reading exam traps that they do to you on the reading exam. So read all these little, uh, call out boxes. Personally, I love this part of the book. These are all quick tips, test tips, caution, think about it. All of those things are really helpful when you go to take it on test day. So again, we have passages, sample questions, little things to think about there. Um, and that's really what the sample questions are. It's not done the same way because it's kind of hard to take a passage and just write 10 key idea and details questions. Usually one passage has like key idea and details, structure and all the other stuff. So that's how it's laid out here. 
Then the next day, I put it down, I, I go to bed or I, I go watch TV. I'm done for the day. I did my practice for the day. Now I'm going to craft structure and language skills the following day. I'm reading all this. I'm looking over all this. I'm reading some of my samples here. I'm seeing how these um, test questions are kind of laid out. I'm looking for patterns, really thinking like a test maker here, seeing where I can, you know, evaluate those patterns, working backwards by reading the question first and then reading the, um, or yeah, reading the questions first, then reading the passage so that I'm really focused on the task, all of that stuff, taking a look at all the different types of text structures, working through sample, sample, here we go. I mean, we have a lot of samples here, you guys. Every time I scroll through it, I just love this new book so much. I'm really proud of it. And then I go put it down and I take a rest and I come back to it the next day. And then I do integration knowledge um, of ideas. This is section three. And this has to do with your charts and graphs and things like that. This is also assessed in math and the probability and statistics part. Um, they do it more from a math perspective, but you have to learn to read graphs there as well. And you go through all of that, you work through, we've got sample questions here, all different types of sample questions here. They also do infographics. So we have some infographics here, working through our practice test questions. And now I'm ready to either go back and redo practice test one, see how I score, or go straight to practice test two and see how I score. You may wanna leave practice test one so you can kind of forget it, you know what I mean? And go to practice test two to measure your skills based on um, what you've done. Guaranteed, you've gone up. If you've stretched this thing out over a week and you've been in this test for a week, trying different things, reading those mini passages, working through it all, that's gonna be the key there. All right, and then score yourself. Really read those answer explanations on the reading. The answer explanations help very much because you might think something is one thing and I tell you why it's not that, why it's a trap, why you should avoid it, what the patterns are, how to think like a test maker. That's gonna really help you here, all right? So that's the reading.